Possibly. I think we've let ourselves down a couple of times against the teams in the round, especially at home. But I feel we've been competitive all week. I know there's one or two moan and groan, but you have to you have to deal with that. Um, as a man, they obviously don't know the game as well as I do. But um, you know, we we've been competitive. We've said to the lads before the game. You know, three home games against three teams pushing for promotion. If we if we'd have lost narrowly today, that'd have been three games, three decent performances, no points. So we had to dig something out and you know, I said to him before the game, if we were in the game with 20 minutes to go, Sheffield are an experienced team um, with lots of good players, very high skill level, um, but they're getting on a little bit and I felt with the young lads in our team, our midfield, I felt that we could get in and around their box with Toby, um, Michael, Owen, DS and Millie, we can get in the box and really stretch their midfield because they are sort of pushing 30 all over the pitch really so I felt our fitness would help us and to be fair the delivery today was unbelievable you know from the from the first corner John had scored the second corner John had probably should have scored um, the third corner um, Gorgs I think should have scored and you know we caused them problems all day from set pieces again and that's a, that's a real weapon for us and you know Toby scored a great header and then again something we worked on is getting our midfielders Millie and DS in the box and he's popped up again and scored and we defended magnificently and I thought Swanee after last week's couple of mistakes I thought I thought he was brilliant today I thought that's one of his one of his best games in a Wisby shirt he come and caught everything early on he's made one or two saves and we hit a flat spot just after half time but they're, they're, the, they're the periods where we've been conceded and then putting the game out of a reach but we dug in, we kept it level and then like I said I felt in the last 20 minutes we caused them all sorts of problems. Listen, we're, we're having a right go, you know, everyone can see it, sorry, most people can see it, um, we're having a right go, the players are working the socks off for the football club, I'm working the socks off for the football club. There's people around the football club doing everything they can. Um, and these boys deserve some support. You know, they, they deserve some support because whether we win, whether we draw, whether we lose, um, they give 110% and that's what we demand. And, you know, you can, the trouble is, obviously, obviously we lost Azza this week, but the trouble is when lads in playing, they... they they ain't going to travel all the way to Tad Castle, but you know we've got a job to do. We have to pick the team that we feel is best to do the job. And today we've picked the team we've got best to do the job. That was the best this week. Was it best last week? I don't know. We lost two one, but we give everything we got. You know, and if players want to leave, they have they have to leave. You have to then go bring someone else in. But you know we can't be held to ransom by players because they want to play every week. That's just you know no one can be guaranteed to play every week. I think probably out of our squad this season probably. Only Jono, probably Gorgs, and Sam Murphy are probably the only three who's, who's on Swanee who's played every week when they're when they're fit. You know, every, like Millie, Fruey, uh, DS, Ollie. Uh, they've all they've all sat on the bench at some point in this season. You know, you can't when players come to you and say, oh, "I need to play every week. I need to play." Oh, we can't guarantee that. Of course, I can't. You know, I'm a football manager. I can't guarantee. You know, you have loss of form. You know, people. You know, Aaron got injured, and then he we was four 0 down at half time. No, withdrew him, and he, you know, he, he he physically, you know, he was upset, and you know, because of his performance. So we pulled him out for a couple of weeks, and you know, I had a chat with him this week. I said there was an opportunity that he'd be playing Saturday, but he, he just felt that he needed to go elsewhere, and that's his prerogative. Um, I wish him all the best, but that's that's football, unfortunately, and you know, he'll be the last to go, and he'll be the last. You know, uh, Harry will be the last we bring in, that's just football, so that ain't just this club, that's every other club. There's nothing wrong with the dressing room, you know, the lads are fully committed to the football club, as you can see, every time they cross the white line, and we'll just keep going and, you know, <laughs> you know, I think, we're having a, I think we're having a reasonable crack at step four football, we've got a young team, we're running around, we've got, we're scoring some good goals, we've, we've given, we're giving everything we've got and we can't do no more than that.